Developer Briefing 173 Update 13 Console Parity Commonwealth Timeline. Hello everyone, my name is Burning Wiki and welcome to my channel. And before I get started, I want to ask you all that if you do enjoy my content, then please subscribe to the channel. And I'm here on the Steam website looking at the new developer briefing for Hell Let Loose. And they write, we want to thank the community for your patience as we spent the last couple of months prioritizing and finalizing console content so that it's in line with PC. Now this parity work is almost complete. It will make general Hell Let Loose development much smoother moving forward. Although this work has taken longer than we'd have liked, it has been a huge technical achievement for the team that enables us to deliver PC and console updates at the same time in the future or with minimal time in between. It was also critical for us to do this work in order to streamline and best use the team's time as efficiently as possible moving into the years ahead. And, uh, I want to note here that uh, I think this is all nonsense. It is all nonsense. There is no reason why PC and console should have parity or moving along in the same time now or even have the same content because we are not playing together at all. Uh, there is no crossplay between PC and console. The only reason is why they do this and um, one team is developing it all is to cut cost. Right. And uh, if you just hire more people, you will work faster and uh, you will probably work more efficient. But that is beside the point. Let me continue. After releasing a major update like Falling Dark, we take time to continue internal testing and Q&A. And we wish to ensure the community that update 13 will bring another level of polish and improvement to all areas of the game. This means that update 13 will be the last major update for the year. We'd feel it be sure to create quite a sizzle. Lastly, we're thrilled to announce that our main aim to release the Commonwealth expansion as our first major update in 2023. So we're not going to even see the British forces this year. They come on, honestly. Who cares about all these small updates? Everybody needs a new faction. Everybody's waiting for new maps. And we've all been waiting for the British forces. And now we're not going to even see it. Um, uh, come on. We got still two full months to go in this year. And you can't even release it. Honestly. Honestly, I'm, I'm so disappointed. Lastly, we're thrilled to announce that our aim is to release the Commonwealth expansion as our first major update in 2023. Yeah, when? January, February, March, April, May? You know, when? We will be announcing an updated roadmap to reflect this in the coming weeks. Creating an expansion with a whole new force, suit of weaponry and vehicles as well as new weapons is a time consuming process and one that we're keen on getting it right. Well, hire more people. If it's so time consuming, again, hire more developers and, uh, you know, streamline the process more. I am kind of getting sick of them making excuses why it all is taking so long. Hire more People, it is that simple. You made enough money in this game. You made millions. Last time I looked was estimated Hell Let Loose made 55 million since its creation. So, uh, you know, don't tell me it's time consuming and it will take time. Hire more people. It is that simple. We're excited to share this with you as we continue to work through its creation. We're very excited to introduce a whole new theater of war and are excited for the new maps this enables us to develop. Well, I hope it is more than two maps because I'm getting personally sick of playing the same maps all over again. And here we have a rendering of the iconic British brand gun. And it looks like a brand gun. What, what can you say, guys? It looks nice. It is a brand gun. I mean, what, what, what can you say? Update 13, Flames, Frost and more. We have some very exciting content currently aligned for this next update on top of the general QOL. Improvements. 
This includes, but is not limiting to the following, the T-70 tank winter map to be announced, winter uniforms, jeeps, flamethrowers, recon improvements, new cosmetics. We look forward to sharing more on that front in the coming weeks as well as initial testing and return of the PTE for update 13. This update will require prolonged testing as we expect technical challenges when it comes to flamethrowers. Yes, it will. The technical challenges are clear with the flamethrowers, right? All the particles in the air. Um, Systems uh, that are not uh, top of the line will start lagging. Old graphics cards like GTX uh, 970s uh, will not be able to handle flamethrowers because of all the particles that are going through the air. So that will be a technical challenge for sure. We hope that you will join us when this testing begins and look forward to your support and feedback. Well, I will most certainly be there. Soviet T-17 light tank update 13 will also see the introduction of a new vehicle, the Soviet T-70 light tank. Let's take a quick glance at a brief historical summary of the T-70 class light tank in World War II. Well, I'm sure we all know how that looks like. I think we all played War Thunder or World of Tanks. It is a T-70 tank, what can you say about it? A nice World War II picture of the tank. And uh, oh, here it is. Oh, this now this looks nice, guys. This looks absolutely beautiful. Let me uh, enlarge that for a moment if I can. There we go. Look at that. Now that looks really nice. But again, how useful are these tanks? Do you want to be going around in a T-70 tank, right? I mean, uh, honestly, uh, the only tank you want to be driving in is a heavy tank. Because in a light tank, you're a one-shot for everyone. Even the bazookas, you're going to be a one-shot. The tank physics need to be totally overhauled to be way more realistic. I mean, uh, it looks very nice, right? It looks nice. It looks too nice, by the way. There are no scratches. There are no, you know, welding mistakes, which are, you know... Russian tanks are infamous for their bad construction, right? And their shabby uh, construction work. But uh, it looks nice, but who wants to be driving in a light tank? Honestly, no one. Silver Vanguard DLC update. We have been aware for some time now that the community has been asking about the M42 helmet with the goggles that appears in the Silver Vanguard DLC. This picture was honestly a minor oversight in the artwork used for the Steam store. The team got together and discussed two options for this, either to update the artwork in the Steam store to correct without the helmet or to include the M42 helmet with motorcycle goggles in the existing Silver Vanguard DLC. Well, I bet this was a very short discussion because you advertised it with the helmet, so you need to add the helmet. I know you're trying to give your nice marketing spin, but if you advertised for something and you then don't deliver, that is a big no-no. And to say we had a big discussion with the team if we should correct the artwork or should add the helmet, then the answer is nonsense. You add the helmet to the DLC. And let me scroll downwards if this was the case, because of course this was the case. Silver Vanguard Store Art and Steam featuring the M42 helmet with cause. We are happy to announce that we will be implementing the rollout of the M42 helmet with motorcycle goggles. Of course you will, because you know reasons. I gotta admit, their marketing team is really good at Hell at Lowe's. They try to make their mistakes sound like they're degenerates and they always do this, but it's nonsense. You advertise for something, you better deliver on what you advertise with, else you're gonna get into trouble with the law, right? It is that simple. You cannot mislead people into thinking they're gonna buy or get one thing and then not giving them that or giving them something that it doesn't even look like the thing you're advertising. So, yeah. So all owners, both past and present and future of the Silver Vanguard DLC pack will now see they also have the M42 helmet with motorcycle goggles in their barracks, ready to equip for battle on the front line. And it looks nice guys, but these uniforms are uh, useless because it is a first person shooter. So you're not even seeing the thing you're buying. 
In fact, I always thank the person for buying them for being very social because he is buying it for me to look at, uh, which I always uh, appreciate. And let's take a look at it. It looks absolutely amazing. Again, the artwork is spot on. The helmet is too shiny, if you ask me. Military helmets do not have a shine. I mean, you're gonna stick out from far, so that is a mistake. That is a huge mistake, this shiny, the shiny bits. Other than that, beautiful artwork. The face looks very nice with the scars and everything. Very, very nice. The artwork is uh, in Hell Let Loose is always uh, top notch, I gotta say. Moving forwards with developer briefings. As more and more items and content for update 13 and onwards are reaching near finish status, we intend to increase the frequency of the developer briefings for the remainder of this year. This will allow us to, in a more timely manner, preview to all of you some of the new things coming to Hell Let Loose. The increase in the release of dev briefings and the associated content will commence as of now. We have a lot of information to share over the coming months and look forward to showcasing it in upcoming developer briefings. Well, that looks all very, very nice. And I, I can't wait. I'm just highly, highly disappointed that the British are not coming this year. What is taking so long? And you can say they're working hard and they're in a crunch. But uh, no, hire more people. You earned enough money. Don't be stingy. Hire more people. Because uh, Hell Let Loose can't hold on to the veteran players. And we see this time and time again. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you did, then please subscribe to the channel and leave me a like. Join us on our Discord and follow me on Twitter. My name is Burning Wiki, And I will see you all next time.